What's up? This is Squad Twenty Four Forty. We're following tonight's your seventeen mod reviews. Today we'll be taking a look at a few pickup trucks, SUV, semi truck, tractor, and a dump truck. All the links can be found down below in the description. I do recommend you check all of them out. Up first, we'll be taking a look at this half ton 2015 Ford F-150 XLT Crew Cab five and a half foot bed pickup truck. This is color changeable. When did you purchase it in the store? Up on you guys can see. Very nice, high quality, detailed grill, chrome bumper, nice headlights, chrome tow hooks. And then you guys can see the diffuser down below for the aerodynamics. And you do a fog lights there, which is nice. When you do come around to the side, take a look at these wheels. Very nice, high quality Ford rims and nice brand new textures there on the wheels. This is an XLT model trim, which means it's pretty much mid-level Ford series, which is pretty cool. It is an EcoBoost badging, which means it does also have the EcoBoost engine. When you do come around to back, it does have a single exhaust out of the right side, which is right there. It does have a bumper pull hitch, and you guys can see it is a 4x4, which is nice. This was released by the Squad YouTube channel during a stream. The link below will be down to his channel. Overall, very nice looking truck. It does look to be leveled, which is also pretty cool. Other than that, very nice stock looking truck. Once we do hop here on the inside, top speed of 85 miles per hour, all of the lights do work on this, which is pretty cool. We're just going to take a look at all of the highlights you guys can see. Both of those work, which is nice. And on the interior view, it does have an inside view, but it's not too detailed. We'll be taking this for a spin to see how this handles. Very nice handling so far. It does get up and go which is pretty realistic for the EcoBoost it's a twin turbocharged V6 which is very nice they do offer two different ones underneath the hood along with a V8 and a base model V6 which is nice but overall pretty cool and you guys can see it does actually have an add-on to the other side for exhaust which means that this does have a custom exhaust which is pretty cool and it does not have a bed liner just because it's matching the color of the truck but very nice high quality truck like I was saying I will have the link below to the stream video up next, we'll be taking a look at a 2014 Ford F-350 Super Duty Crew Cab, 6.5 foot bed, very nicely done. Up front, you guys can see it does have a few strobe LED lights here on the grill, very nice grill overall. You guys can see great chrome textures, uh, fog lights, and the diffuser down below. This is to help with the gas mileage here of the truck. You guys can see it does have strobe lights here on the tow mirrors, which is pretty cool. This does have the power stroke underneath the hood, the 6.7 liter giant steps here. Very high quality model so far. You guys can see strobe lights there in the back and then when you do come around to back no hitch and you guys can see dual exhaust right out of the right side. You guys can see no bed liner just because like I was saying the bed is the same color as the truck gooseneck and very detailed tailgate there overall. Once we hop here on the inside view this goes 76 miles per hour. All of the lights do work on this which is pretty cool. When you do press X a few different things can turn on which is nice and then when you do press home the strobes turn on. Take off the that guy's strobe lights there on the bumper, the back side there. You guys can see running lights all the way around. The pretty cool strobes, which is pretty cool. And over here, you guys can see this uh, fog lights and the high beams on, which is pretty cool. And then you guys can see the straps there in the back, four straps. On the inside of you, working steering wheel, working mirrors, very high quality interior. Take a look at that. It is pretty realistic for Super Duty. I can't wait to use this in a few videos. We'll now be taking this four spin top speed of 76 miles per hour. I would like to thank you all for the support here on the weekly mod reviews. Looks like the mods are slowing down just because Farming Simulator 19 is on the horizon this fall, but I can't wait to feature more mod reviews, and I will be doing mod reviews in FS19, which should also be pretty cool. Overall, this truck has great handling, and it does look pretty cool in it is color changeable also, which is also a very cool feature. But overall, very cool uh, four trucks we have taken a look at today. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a Mercedes G Wagon. Very expensive SUV. It is color changeable when you do purchase it. And there's a few different wheel options for it, which is pretty cool. Very nicely done. You guys can see it does have a V12 here, spare tire, and a hitch here in the back. And it is an AMG, which means it's even more money and it's even faster. When we do take a look at all of the lights, take a look at that. This is an updated version, which is pretty cool. Side exhaust there on the right side and on the left, which is pretty cool. This thing overall does look 
awesome. On the inside view, working mirrors, working steering wheel, working gauges. Take a look at the quality of the inside view. Very, very high quality, and it is very realistic. I can't wait to use this. We might add this as a daily driver for series, and you guys can see very nice acceleration. Take a look at that pretty fast with a top speed of 130 miles per hour, but overall, very nice looking uh, SUV. You guys can see great suspension going up and over the curb. We are here on the Square Farms map for our weekly mod reviews. We switched over here from the Platinum DLC, and this map will be released early May, the first week of May to be exact, but overall, very nice SUV. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a Freightliner semi-truck, which is looking very nice. There is a few different color options, which is very nice, and you do have different wheels you could choose from, wide wheels, and you do also get to choose the attacher here on the back. But take a look at this, guys. Very nicely done here on the design. you got toolbox, a uh, giant gas tank here on this side. Great looking textures. You guys can see blue fenders. And I mean, this thing does look overall very nice, and like I was saying, it is a Freightliner. Once we hop on the inside top speed, 51 miles per hour. You guys can see all the lights do work on this one beacon light up top, which is pretty cool. Take a look at all those lights. On the first person view, working gauges, working steering wheel, and working mirrors. Take a look at the detail here on the inside. This is pretty cool. I mean, this looks awesome. We'll now be taking this for a spin to see how this handles. Now, you guys can see it is a pretty long truck being a sleeper, but I really do like the design of it. Overall, it does look pretty cool. And I'd like to thank all of the modders for releasing these epic mods here in the farming simulator community. We have some very nice modders putting a lot of time and effort and then it releasing these to the public and like I was saying I really do appreciate each and every one of you for all that you do here for the farming modding community which is pretty cool overall you guys can see the handling here of this truck is on point no body roll very high quality truck I might have to put a few different beds here on this truck I mean this thing does look pretty cool as a sleeper and especially as a freightliner I mean this thing does look awesome up next, we'll be taking a look at a John Deere tractor, which is the John Deere 4110. Take a look at this, guys. There's a few different wheel options, front attacher, and a load of options. When you do purchase it, which is pretty cool, you guys can see this one. You do have the option for the extra tire here, which is pretty cool. Take a look at the high quality here. Overall, this thing does look pretty cool. Once you hop here on the first person view, it goes 29 miles per hour. All of the lights you work on this, which is pretty cool. Take a look at that. I mean, that looks awesome. No beacon lights. Once you hop here on the first person view and you press space, you could kind of uh, pull up the steering wheel, tilt it down. You could do a few different things. You could uh, open up the hood. We'll be taking a look at underneath the hood. You could open up that door. Totally, you could take off the wheel uh Fenders, that is pretty cool. Very nicely done there. You get, you have so many different options, windows, everything like that. That window opens. I mean, this is so cool how we could do all of this. I think that it will be a very cool thing for Farming Simulator 19 to feature that. Take a look at that engine, guys. Very nicely done here on the engine. A ton of detail. I mean, that does look pretty cool. Looks like the fans are spinning, but whoa. I mean, this thing overall looks very nice. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a Cat 7140 dump truck. Pretty old dump truck, but I mean, this thing is pretty cool it is very long this axle actually does turn with a front which is pretty cool and you guys can see it does have a hitch around back once we hop here on the inside you guys can see it does have a few different options four doors everything like that reverse lights everything and let's kind of take a look at this so look at that so keypad 8 will open up the hood that does look pretty cool keypad 7 will open up the door keypad 9 will open up the other door there's just so many different ones and then 4 and 5 will kind of put down the windows that is a very cool thing. Can't wait to kind of use this in some videos. Here on the inside view, working gauges, working steering wheel, and working uh, mirrors. I mean, very high quality. Take a look at that. I mean, this truck does look pretty cool. And I do like all of those different features. Like I was saying, guys, I think it will be pretty cool to have those here in the new Farming Simulator 19. All the links can be found down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And subscribe for more.